Rank 11 Becca. Martin's going to be a pain in my ass, but on the flip side, there's no Tyrone and there's no Val. The rank 61 Samuel um, can give me a hard time as well. I'm not expecting January to give me that much of an issue, nor the Becca. The Martin and the Sam are going to probably be the biggest pains in my ass. Um, getting the grabs on the Martin is probably going to serve me best. That way he can't flash baton me. Because I'm willing to bet he's got the stupid ass 90 second flash baton, which should not be in existence. Uh, it should be 120 seconds like all the other fever skills. That's coming from someone who's actually played and enjoy playing as Martin. Bonjour. The wheels of fate led you to a strange place today. Let us see if you will walk away or not. Martin's already on the move. I have killed dozens, maybe hundreds. And now I am asked to make novelty locks. My life is strange. Sometimes it's easiest just to do things yourself. Didn't set up trap. Didn't do anything. If that were something you needed, do you think I would tell you? Awesome. This has gone on long enough. He feels no pain. The perfect machine for this endeavor. It's fine. We? Oui, that could be a key. This really is not a very efficient way of ending your life. But oh, there's there's... She's trying to shoot Maybe me with a spark shot from like a mile away. Possibly death. This is some death. Sometimes it's easiest just to do things yourself. You understand me. Me? Nerd power! It's okay. It happens to the best of us. Not often to me, but hey, it happens. I thought that was the end. They'll all be like, Oh, I'm already out of the zombie. They have all the keys? How'd they get all the keys? Seriously, how'd they get all the keys? Whatever. I need to go I need to go re look at that. Uh, cause I didn't think they got all the keys. That's kind of bullshit. We'll have to take a second look at that. Fate has more cards to turn for you yet. Wait. Where's Yorick? This is an another thing that really annoys the fuck out of me. They're already it in the no store, pain. for the most part, before for I even know where Yorick is. Then I have to strategically move Yorick. I'm pretty sure both of those are infectious, but we'll hit them again anyways, just to be safe. Not a very efficient way of ending your life. But there's our orders. Okay. Don't forget to search his corpse for anything useful. Because that's not the weird thing. Sometimes it's easiest just to do things yourself. You understand? Hmm? Holy fuck, that was close. No 
no pain. The perfect machine for this endeavor. No sorrow, no regret. Just flesh made into a weapon. I'm so glad I hit my bull rush just as they did that. This will teach him to make jokes about my. He's gonna close the door on me. I'm I, I'm wasting my time with that. You know we set this up to tease you, do you not? We never really expected you to get it. Am I already down before I'm even up? Can I please shut this? Sometimes it's easiest just to do things yourself. You understand me. They were all. I was hitting them, but okay. They fucking win. It's an easy win for them, too. So. It's fucking bullshit, but whatever. I think they should honestly do something with <laughs> Jan's arsenal, also. But whatever. Fuck do I know? You continue to fight, and the depravity of the game goes deep. They're already in the store before I can this even find out where my bio no, core is that's active. And now I know where my bio core is. Meanwhile, they're already buying stuff. I need to do something to try and slow them down just a little bit. He They're already here. No, pain. no. The perfect machine for this They're still fucking around. They're going this way. That way. Made him waste his all. Here's Trenchy. Do anything? Yes. How? Sixteen seconds. Got her while she was coughing. I don't know what they're doing. This really is not a very efficient way of ending your life. But there's others. He's going down now. It 
will pass. All things pass with that. It's okay. Do this. I might actually beat them here. Daughter. It's easiest just to do things yourself. You understand me. me? Actually, I don't want to do that. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah. This is the dead of me. Dun, dun. This really is not a very efficient way of ending your life. Stop her ult from happening. She's down. You are running out of time, but it looks like you barely even tried. No worries, I got you, bro. The half and trench coat. Thank you. Will be good in style. Yes. Turn. The bomb time is running out for you, my friends. <coughs> I win. Despite all the bullshit that I had to put up with, I ended up winning. I was six minutes in the hole, and I managed to still beat them. This is why, as a mastermind, you never fucking give up. And your lives will I was- they, they had it well over six minute lead on me. They were beating me handily throughout this entire game, up until phase three. And I honestly thought I lost. I- this was their game to win. This was my game to lose, and I ended up winning. I want to look at these scores. So Martin scored the least out of everybody, that's pretty pathetic. He should have been the carry of the game. With his flash batons and everything, I should have been dealing with 90 second flash batons. And I don't think I was pressuring him a whole lot, so I don't know why they weren't there. He did misplay it once. I did get the uh, the door shut on him. Um, I was picking on the Becca quite a bit. But, you know. I also, I think I, I think I downed just about everybody except for maybe the Sam. I shouldn't have been. I shouldn't have downed the Sam. If I downed the Sam, Sam didn't play it right. Um, I don't think I downed him though. I think I downed everybody except for the Sam, which is what should have happened. Um, yeah, I honestly cannot believe I won this. I honestly thought I was going to lose. So there's that. So. There's a little PSA to all masterminds out there. Never give up. If you're going to lose, take your loss. Or at least try to not lose. I mean, I, I, I went into the third phase extremely negative. I thought I was going to lose for all intents and purposes. And I never gave up. I kept playing. I actually thought I was going to beat them before they even got the first Biocore down. That's how much time I drained from them. So, I mean, this is literally... Uh, a prime example of how a comeback should look like like I wasn't even paying attention to the clock I was watching what they were doing and w just trying to manage my zombies and before you know it the, this, by the time I looked at the clock 
there was only two minutes left. And I was like, holy shit, I can beat them. Like, four or five minutes ago, or four or, my, four or five minutes before that, I was saying I was going to lose, and that there was this was insurmountable, I wasn't going to win. But, turns out, I managed to do it. They got two bio cores, sure, but I was just keeping the pressure on them, and X, surprisingly enough, actually clutched it for me at the end there. Um, why those two didn't go into the spawn, well, I know why they did it. And you know what? What they did was admirable, because they knew that if they ran into the spawn room to wait me out, they were just going to lose anyways. So they fucking went for it. So good on them for actually doing that and trying, kind of like I did at the beginning of the phase. Um, the Jan and the Becca kind of played like chicken shits, because it was either um, fight or lose. And, well, they chose to lose for the most part. They ended up running out after I grabbed the Martin, but at that point it was already too late. So I don't know what they thought they were doing, but uh, winning wasn't one of them. I'll, uh, I'm gonna save this one for upload because I think that there's a really important message behind this. And uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll go from there. Oh, well that actually wraps up my missions for the day. So we're actually done with uh, resistance for the day.